series we will discuss about protein kinases, phosphatases, phosphodiesterases and phosphorylases. Coming to the first protein kinases. This is the three dimensional structure of protein kinase. Now what is this protein kinase? Protein kinases are enzymes that regulate the biological activity of proteins by phosphorylation of specific amino acids with ATP as a source of phosphate, thereby inducing a conformational change from an inactive to an active form of the protein or vice versa. A kinase, alternatively known as a phosphotransferase, is an enzyme that transfers phosphate groups from high energy donor molecules such as ATP to substrates. This process is known as phosphorylation where the substrate gains a phosphate group and the high energy ATP molecules donates a phosphate group. Human genome contains 500 protein kinase genes that constitute about 2% of all genes. Approximately 2000 protein kinases are encoded by human genome. Kinases are classified into broad groups by the substrate they act upon. Protein kinases, lipid kinases and carbohydrate kinases. Kinases can be found in a variety of species uh, from bacteria to mold to worms to mammals. This is how a kinases transfers a high energy phosphate group from ATP uh, to its substrate be it protein, lipids, carbohydrates to form phosphorylated substrates. Now what is the mechanism of action of protein kinases? Protein kinases are enzymes that regulate the biological activity of proteins by phosphorylation of specific amino acids with ATP as the source of phosphate, thereby inducing a conformational change from an inactive to an active form of protein. Firstly, uh, the ATP binds to the active site of the kinase that leads to the increased binding of substrate to the active site that leads to phosphorylation that's the gamma phosphate of ATP is transferred to the serine, threonine or tyrosine residues of uh, substrate. Then the substrate is released from the kinase and the release of ADP from the active site. This is the mechanism of action of kinases. Kinases plays a crucial role in major cellular processes like a signal transduction, cell differentiation, cell proliferation and cell cycle progression. Protein kinases can be classified by the types of amino acids that they phosphorylate in the protein targets. Five groups of protein kinases are distinguished by the types of amino acid targets. The first is protein serine threonine kinase that phosphorylates either serine or threonine in the target protein. Second is protein tyrosine kinase that phosphorylates tyrosine in the target protein. The third is dual specificity kinases that phosphorylates target proteins on either tyrosine or serine threonine. Histidine kinases these phosphorylates target proteins on histidine group. And the last is aspartate kinase that phosphorylate target proteins on aspartate amino acid residues. Protein kinases may be membrane bound or cytosolic on the basis of their location in the cell. Cytosolic protein kinases are most often serine threonine protein kinases. Examples of serine threonine kinases are MAP kinases, they are also called as RAF, rapidly accelerated fibrosarcoma, and MAC is an example of dual specificity kinases. This was all about protein kinases and in our next video we will discuss about phosphatases. Thank you for watching this video. Please
please like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.